Well, hopefully you have scanned your image uh, <clears throat> from a white paper with black ink or whatever color ink you want into a JPEG or a TIFF file. And we're going to open that now. Um, so here's our sample signature. Again, uh, I asked you to scan it on in a resolution that should be able to overlay any reasonable sized image you're about to use in Topaz Studio. And <clears throat> we want to make sure that there's no kind of gray areas in this white. So what I'd like you to do is add a filter, go to curves, and make sure that that white point is taken quite a bit to the left without interrupting any of your signature resolution. You can even take the black over to the right a little bit if you wish. This basically makes it binary. And then you would uh, file and export that uh, to the correct location. I happen to use a folder called Resources Signatures and I export it. And uh, since I already did this, <laughs> I'll just say yes to overwriting. Now I can close that. Uh, by the way, an inverse of this could be used in order to use a white signature. Uh, <clears throat> you just want to have a black background, so you'd have to be able to invert it. Uh, there are ways to do that, but let's just get through this lesson first. So we're going to close that, and we're going to open uh, an image. Here's a little Sawed Owl. And we're going to go to Filter, go down to Texture, and open your Texture Manager. And if we scroll down, we can see here's the Add Category. Uh, and I added Signature previously, but you can do that. And then with signatures highlighted, we want to import a texture and uh, find our sample here. Say open. And that's fine for the name of the texture. And now that's in here, uh, right here. OK. Um, now I happen to have Photoshop and I'm able to erase the background, uh, which I find nicer, but I'll show you how your workaround is going to work just fine. So now that we have that, uh, we can close this window of the uh, texture manager and close that. And because we have a category, it'll be easier to sort through and find our signature. Now you can see that it's distorted and it's making everything else pale. So I'm going to exaggerate that by turning up the opacity. And you can see it's just completely obstructing your other image. What we want to do is let the darker parts show through, but not uh, any of this white uh, on the texture. So if we just go to linear burn, now you can see if I toggle on and off this, the visibility of our signature, only the black signature is showing up and we're not altering the lightness of the overall image. <clears throat> the problem is that uh, the signature has been stretched out. And in order to compensate for uh, this portrait orientation a picture and a uh, landscape oriented signature. So what we can do is click on uh, the edit button here, make sure that's highlighted and click on free and then you'll be able to either stretch it in the horizontal direction back towards its original orientation uh, of landscape in my case, maybe 8 by 10 
and then it looks normal again. I can make that really large. So uh, let's shrink this down. If you want to cover most of your image to prevent somebody from taking your image, uh, position it over kind of vital parts of your image. Uh, and that's a way to do it. So once we have that, of course, uh, we can close the dialog box. And there you go. Uh, now, I tend to put my signature down in the lower right, and I use something contrasting. So instead of black here, I might use a white signature or an embossed signature. Uh, <clears throat> but there's your black signature. OK, so now I have uh, a white signature on a black background. How are we going to make that work? Uh, I'm going to save this one and call it sample white on black. Export that and close. Again, open up recent image, add a filter, texture, and uh, we're going to go into software manager, I mean uh, texture manager again, and uh, since we already have our signature file, we need to import the texture of the white signature on the black background. There it is. And now we can close that window. Into signatures under categories, category sign and drop down menu to signatures if you've created that. And then find the signature you want. I have to adjust my windows a bit here for you. And there it is. Now we have a different problem. It's making the image dark. If we bring the opacity up, you'll see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so now instead of linear burn, we want to go to linear dodge. And again, we have a distorted signature. So uh, we use the edit, make sure that's highlighted, free transform. If you want to put a small signature like I probably would, uh, just take that down here and you've got it positioned. You can enlarge it. Like so. And then you can click that off to see how it looks. Uh, close the window. If instead you want it big again to try to prevent people from copying your image, you can do something along these lines. And uh, you can adjust the opacity as, as you wish. And of course you could pl place as many of these on here as you want just by copying and pasting uh, this. So. Um, there you go. And you just save your image.